Hello and thank you for tuning in. I'm Royal and today I have on my show a full cast. As always, I have Stephanie, Hola. Chelsea, hey. Travis, Hello. and Michael. What's up? So friendly. <laughs> <laughs> the way he talks. So friendly. <laughs> so, uh, like always, today on the show we'll go over some uh, crazy news segments that I've found. Um, also, I've put in a uh, a new category uh, segment for since Halloween's coming up. I figured it'd be kind of fun to go over some video selections, favorite movies, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, something fun. Um, also, feel free to uh, subscribe and submit too if uh, you have any favorites yourself that you want to post. Let me know about. Um, and then we'll go over some uh, pot facts. Other than that, so I've been waiting desperately since for since you got here with it, Michael, and I want to do a dab. So Stephanie um, went out and got some wax today for us, so we have some. And Michael was kind enough to bring over his uh, what's it called? Nail titanium nail on the torch. How big of a dab do you want? Mm, I'll start off with a light one, a small one for right now, because, you know, I got to get through the show. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've seen what some people, I've I've one? seen some people take some pretty decent sized dabs, so it, it all, it all varies because everyone's different on what, what their definition yeah, of yeah. small is. Huh? Hold that and just be careful. Oh yeah, no, you're good. Be careful. Gonna eat it. <laughs> Are you sure it would have been smarter to put it down on the, the tip? No, nah, you got a little scoop over there. Ah, it's fair it's good. Ah. All right, just don't burn my my stuff. Oh, you just put it in there, or what? Yeah. So it's easier than the one you have. Just please don't burn my stuff. <laughs> yeah, no dome. Domes are bad. They fucking burn the fuck out of me. You know what you need oh, to invest in is a little hot box generator. Yeah, yeah. You know, like where you just uh. You plug it into your, your your rig, and it's like a little uh, hot box. These things are expensive. They are. Uh, so while you get while you do that, Michael. Don't pull it. Don't don't just don't touch it. You just. Yeah, that's gonna be hot as hell. I ain't gonna do that stupid. Oh my god. I want one, but I want a little one. That's a little one. I want a taller <laughs> one than him. <coughs> oh, oh. Little shovel's nice, right? <laughs> that works. <coughs> <coughs> uh, a little baby shovel. Oh, that was harsh. Don't drop it. Another? No, I'm good for it now. I think Travis has been waiting to do one. You got you got soul. like thirty minutes. You got like more than your thirty soul minutes. Needs to be Unfortunately, right. ladies and gentlemen, uh, Chelsea cannot stay for the full segment <laughs> or for the full <laughs> show. I mean, like sorry. <laughs> yeah, just this is the first time I met you. We got to like celebrate this. Like, I have... <laughs> it's a it's a happy meet and greet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is the best way to meet people over there. I'm just so paranoid right now. Like, when I get high, I get caution. You think your mic's fitting it right? I think it's not just my mic. I think, like, this thing's already looking like it's melting. I just see it coming at my face. <laughs> I just more along the line see him keep angling in it down well, here you know where all the cloth is, and you know, the paper. I'm yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to burn my cabinet. Right? It's just, those things are dangerous. <laughs> oh, shit. <coughs> There's like a lot of things going on in this little corner over here. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on. A lot of transactions going on. <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit, I need that. A lot of green transactions. A lot to deposit. Yes. A lot to deposit a bowl, please. <laughs> Pay your Tuesday for a hamburger today. Silver. <laughs> uh -huh. Is that silver? Yes. 
Who's next? Is it you, Michael? Yeah. So, in crazy news... Um, so, <laughs> this was, like, an interesting thing that I found. It's not really any kind of news or anything like that, but it was just kind of interesting. Um, message in a bottle found 29 years after a uh, girl tossed it into sea. Uh, Miranda Chavez was 8 years old when she walked along the sandy shores in uh, Esto Beach, South Carolina, or Carolina, with her parents in glass bottle in her hand. Instead of writing a letter to a pen pal like other uh, gra- uh, third graders in her class do, Chavez went to a different route. She put a message in the bottle and tossed it into the ocean, I hoping the someday. In the in the ocean. <laughs> so I might have when I was little. Well, apparently when she did this, she wrote a message on there and her mother wanted her to write the date because it was more important. And by doing this, some couple out in Georgia, uh, Cipilio uh, Island, Georgia, Linda Hammers, uh, Hampshire and her husband, David, discovered the bottle 29 years later while doing a uh, beach sweep on a uh, Saturday. They posted uh, the note out of the bottle on Facebook to, to get a response. And they got a hold of the girl, I guess, 29 years later. Because she did it apparently in 1988. Wow. 29 years. And that bottle found its way back to her. That's the same kind of area. I know, I was like trying to figure out if they're gonna start hum- moaning in there or not. I was waiting for it and shit. Yeah. Well, because of the music, it's, it's just like. It's a new song that they play on the radio. Is it? It sounds like really some like no, soft love making song. Like, like, uh, when it comes on the radio, like it just, it, I mean, like, like it just coming. awkwardly <laughs> came on at the weirdest time. Like maybe they put the kids, like the kids went out and they were like, I got 20 minutes, let's go. Who can do this to me all night long? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know. <laughs> He's in there swinging her by the ankles. Swinging them by the ankles and shit. Yeah, hand is a Dude, I know. My old roommate had pigs. Like I loved pigs. those. Yeah, pigs. I fucking oh. hated those things. I loved them. They were so God, cute. God, every day one. I threaten the Bro, fucking cook one, I dude. I told Matt that I want those a pig. pigs were fucking and annoying. And he told me that we could only no, have No, they were a te- they were uh, micro oh, pig. Ones? You'll like it for a little bit. No, I refuse to raise an animal to be cooked and I'm going to have eat. to eat it. Like, I won't be able to do that, like, at all. Like, I had to grow up doing that shit. He's like, you can have, he goes, that's oh, your yeah, you that's your storage girls. right you can, there. You can have I fatten that thing up. He goes, go ahead, you can have a couple. He goes, but I'm gonna cook them when they get older, and I'm thinking, oh, no. You say that now, but when you eat that, I want one. I want to eat that pig. Does it look like there are any sauces in that thing? When it does, it could be like, dude, do you remember how loud they were? They had a whole lot of meat on that, though. No, they don't get it. No. Like personal piggy? I just want a little tiny piggy. Like a pocket pig. That's what they call They're called pocket pigs, and they only get the size of a nub. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, and they're loud. They shit everywhere. They're fucking annoying, and they're up your ass every day. Oh, no. I read a lot of this. Uh. We're going to read Scary Bears today, and then maybe we'll read Michael Recycle. 
So going into this other segment here, um, since Halloween's coming up, like, what you guys would think would be the best horror, horror movie to watch? <coughs> like, do you have any personal favorites? Do you have, like, maybe a, a, a selection of favorites, a few of the favorites, or maybe just one? Like, 50. I, I, I jogged down a few that I thought were... Okay, what are they? Well, uh, before I go over that list, that's why I was asking. Okay, we could, we could go in a circle. And just list out some good ones. Yeah. Tell us the list in the meantime. I don't, I don't know what the name of it is, but like, you had these little puppet things. Like, puppet Master? It, was it? Like, they had, like, well, let, let him yeah, finish. Like, let him finish dude, describing like, it. Head guy. Oh, yeah, it's Master. Puppet Master. Yep. Called it. <laughs> that shit is cool as fuck. Right? Oh, that's a good, that's but the don't cult classic. Ever watch man. them all in succession. Why? Is that's the really? mistake I made. Because they the switch. They switch at every episode or movie. The freaking writer purposely messed up like the whole entire like uh, cont- continuity of the entire thing. Oh, like they changed where Too Long was from, who his first puppets were, and then they eventually made the puppets kind of good in a few of them. It was yeah. fucking weird. It was weird when they were. The good. first and the second one is the best ones, and then after that it just gets ridiculous. Talk about make this hobo dinner shit once, bro. It was pretty fucking amazing. It's like tinfoil, bro, and you like potatoes and carrots and celery and like fucking some beef in there. That shit is fucking amazing. It's actually made really often in the South. It's just like a normal fucking quick cook like thing. Popular yeah. pieces. Maybe I should go check out the South for a while. <laughs> I love the food and the women. Like, wow. Watch out. <laughs> they get you. <laughs> Don't go too far south. A lot of women in Miami in that area, you'll be like, hey, hey, whoa, what kind of a weird dude, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm like, whoa. My moment of, there are no chicks with dicks, those are dudes with boobs. They're all dudes with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The one with uh, that's pretty fucking cool. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> holy the guy holy. from the X Files. Yeah, yeah, David Duchovny. Like dude, that was a good. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that thing straight. took off, dude? That thing made a not only a comic series but a, a, a cartoon series. Man, that was a fucking. Yeah. It was a killer. Yeah. Yeah. it was a really good. I like that. Hey, that was. Uh, so what about you, Steph? What's your? What would yes. be yours? I don't have a number one, but I could throw one out there. What would you recommend if you had to? If you had to choose, like from the orphanage. House of Thousand Corpses is pretty good too. Yeah, yeah that See? one was a pretty good one. I don't, like recommend definitely not arachnophobia. <laughs> not, not nowadays, dude. That movie sucks. <laughs> Kids are spoiled with special effects and shit. I know. Yeah, and I hope they never redo it because. Yeah. <laughs> it all crazy. Kind of want to see the that one pick for that bitch though. Yeah, same boat. <laughs> I would have to pick Trick or Treat. It's kind of corny, but kind of good at the same time, like Connor Modern. I really enjoyed it. And I they're making the dark room on a big TV. Yeah, and they're making a, a Trick or Treat too. So. Are they? That's yeah, awesome. so that's pretty cool. <laughs> but as far as. My top ten ones that I would personally, I mean, to me, honestly, I wouldn't really recommend. Or you wouldn't Halloween. recommend? I wouldn't recommend. The worst I mean, they're, they're more, really, they're not, to me, the storylines aren't really that great. The effects, the characters. One of the dumbest know. movies ever. Puppet Master versus Demon Toys. It has Corey Feldman in it. And he's wearing a gray wig, and he's trying to act like an old man, and it's fucking horrible. Well, see, on my next show, like, what I want to do, <laughs> see, on my next show, what I want to do is I want to do, like, more of a, uh, of a kind of top ten thing, but more of, like, old, older movies. They, ones that people probably haven't heard of, or they're, they well, have, yeah, you know. that's what I would suggest as far as old movies, as far as horror movies, is go back to the old ones. Oh, yeah, but these are more, like, modern to, to old. 
um, such as 2002, 2002 Halloween Resurrection, Mike Myers. It, the, 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 it was. I don't know if it was more about the, the the mom or Mike Myers. I don't know who it was more about. You know what I mean? Mom. But the thing is, is like. What mom? The family wasn't any relation to Michael Myers at, at all, was it? I don't remember the family in that story being any relation because I thought the point of the whole basis of Michael Myers is he goes and kills his relatives and his sisters yeah he's after his one sister isn't it well yeah but he already killed everybody else so. yeah so now he's after this whole new family and it's like what the fuck he just randomly picks one like those guys fucking Brady bunch of fucking motherfuckers I'll stab him I just was never I was never big on Michael Myers. I just couldn't. I I found his. I'm all for slashers, but his is too boring, too long. It takes too long, and then when they play that that boring theme song, that it just makes you feel like you're gonna have an anxiety, like you're listening to dubstep and waiting for the fucking beat to drop. 2017 Stephen King's It. I haven't seen it. And I was all. not impressed. I think I'm going to like it. Just, just. Are you going to rewatch it? Pumpkinhead. I'll rewatch yes, it I with you. Re and you said you were going to rewatch it with me, remember? I'll rewatch it with you. But to me, from what I saw, I wasn't impressed. I heard it was good, but. No? You haven't seen it. That kind of fucked me up for, from sewer drains for a while as a kid, but like. Huh? That was one thing from it when I was little that I remembered from the movie because I, <coughs> I was weird. Was the the part with the sewer? That that part was creepy to me when I was little. And then the part with the the white sheep all in there. Because my mom had the same freaking thing out in the backyard, and we lived out in the middle of nowhere. So I would go out to play, and there's all the white sheep, and I would like. Like, be all happy thinking to myself, like, imagining Pennywise standing in the middle of it, like. 2009, Stan Helsing. I fucking hated that. I don't like, it's, it's like a parody. <coughs> and it's almost <coughs> just like, have you ever seen, um. Sometimes they're just too much. Have you ever seen, um, um, scary movies? The scary movies? Yeah. It's just like that, a parody fit movie. Do you like Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Mm-hmm. How do you? <coughs> huh? It's because you're English. No. <laughs> That's why you like Monty Python and you don't like scary movies. Shut it's up, same you same don't judge it. Movie. Three Stooges. Uh, they did the yeah. same stupid thing. Three Stooges is classic shit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't like satires when they get too over the too over. I like subtle satire. I don't like it when they make it so obvious and then they explain it and then they keep making it so like wow, too much. Sometimes it's nice not to exaggeration. Make. Too much exaggeration. 2010 saw so, uh, remake Freddy Krueger. <laughs> no one anymore. Has yeah, anyone that seen that? that one did you see that one? In the movie theater. I fucking hated the way they did it. <laughs> Who they chose for it was. <laughs> I personally didn't see as a good character. I was character. excited to see him as Freddy, actually, because I liked him as Warshak. Warshak, yeah. And Warshak. Well, he did good on that, but, like, no, as him as Freddy was just... But I didn't like that they didn't give Freddy a nose. Yeah, and they made... And they, his skin was so smooth. They did too much CGI on Freddy this time, and it was just over the top, not the same feel. They, just, they tried to make it look more it? realistic, and they tried a little uh, bit too much. The hard. 2010 remake of Freddy? No. You don't watch horror movies much, do you, Michael? No. It's, I'm surprised you knew what Puppet Master was. Because I like, like, I watch sci-fi a lot because I like corny shit. So, like, it was on sci-fi at some point. Like, I like Tremors and shit. Like, that's Tremors? Like, it's like uh, a stupid, stupid, stupid good show, yeah. Like, the Ass Blasters. Like, that's like the funniest <laughs> name. <laughs> 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 from outer space? Yeah, like, stupid shit like that. Like, it's cool as fuck. Where did lighter go? Like, this, some shit is just good when it's corny, man. Right. Like, it, just, it fits it. 
Here's one you know. 1993's Leprechaun. Leprechaun in the hood. Leprechaun is Oh my, my god. Life. Leprechaun in the hood. I do not like <laughs> no, Leprechaun. This shit one. is stupid and annoying, dude. Leprechaun 1 and Leprechaun Just 2. Just wants me gold. Well, it gets stupid after a while, but Leprechaun It gets repetitive. One, like, Leprechaun 1 was really there. good. It was. I really enjoyed that one. See, and I that? also enjoyed him in Las Vegas. He <laughs> <laughs> was funny in that one. <laughs> What's up, me homie? <laughs> I mean, leprechaun. <laughs> no, he like took this like hooker. And out then he and went like, out and rapped. Well, Alan made her boobs like grow until they exploded, and oh he like made God. this funny little rhyme about it. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> but other than that, I've always loved leprechaun. See, those are my classics. What's next on your list? Least favorite one I would ever want to see and watch. 1987's The Lost Boys. Fuck you. <laughs> that was my favorite movie for when I was like in middle school. That freaking song is what just, oh my oh, god, I song. get irritated when that song comes on because it comes on like at least a good nine to ten times throughout that damn movie. That's how a lot of movies are were back then. I don't even Not know. really. Not, Not all of them. If you really listen to them, yeah. Mm. You want to fucking get sad? Watch Where the Red Fern Grows. That's a what is it? Off. Where the red fern grows? I think I've seen that one. What's that about? Yeah, it's about like hunting dogs dying and shit, and it fucking, it'll fuck you off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was snowed one day in like fucking elementary school, and they made us watch that shit. It was depressing as hell. <laughs> the dogs? Yeah, because it's it, like the dogs die, and like one dog like dies because he gets like shot or some bullshit or gets sick, and like the other one gets all sad and depressed, and it's like a super it's like live action. It, it's, it's, it's depressing. I, I don't know. It's like watching like the last ten minutes all together. Do you guys have Netflix? Uh, no, but no. we we have something we have, similar. We go online. You should watch this movie called Oak Jaw. We oh tried no, I can't. That. I can't we do that. Even that was like the beginning part. Fuck it looks that. so ridiculous. It is, but it's fucking depressing as fuck. Is <laughs> like, it? Then it gets to a point where like the fat pig thing's getting raped. The what? By what? <laughs> the by f- a bigger genetically mutated fat pig thing. Like, <laughs> think of like, <laughs> just, like what the a fuck is going? Steroids <laughs> and like. The, this PETA group makes like They're a like super hippo pigs or video. something. It looks yeah. like hippo pigs. Bro, it's fucked up. Check it out. <laughs> we tried, but I was like, this movie looks fucking dumb. Bro, I can't even. I watched it on Shrooms. Did you? Oh my god. When did that come out? Super depressing. Uh. 2000. I like depressing movies. I think I that came out last year, 2016. I don't feel things. I it think was a lot happier on Shrooms at the beginning than you think it was, and then when it got to the, like the rape, and it just put bad vibes. Just, <laughs> it's the it's stuff. the rape no, that kills like, it. Oh man, that's because like the Peter dudes made like a fucked up video. And they're like recording it to show all the big crowd. It was like, oh. and, like it showed like this demon pig with like red eyes, like. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Like, Whoa, what? This is bad vibes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> watch, we'll watch it, and there really wasn't a big demon pig with red eyes. You were just tripping that hard. Metal uh. What? The clown. What was his name? Doctor Rock. Oh yeah, Coke, Coke, Coke. I do Coke. Yeah. Oh, my voice is still <laughs> messed up. Okay, that's cool. Movie titles thrown out there for people to check out. Yeah. If they want to get depressed. <laughs> <laughs> want to know some pot sure. facts? Sure. THC water. Weed is on the rocks. It's Ooh, on I the way. In an era of just decline, uh. Be healthy and there. Right? That's not fun, though. In an era of deselling. Definitely would digest a lot quicker, but then it would process Maybe a lot Maybe they put quicker, something too. in it that that makes it stabilizes like, it. Slower. What would bind it to the water? Maybe it's not. It has to be though, because the marijuana binds to fats. Like. Maybe they they probably put some kind of oil in there. Yeah. 
I'm sure it's like camp some. oil or something. I'm pretty sure they probably put oil in it. It has to be some kind of bar. Well, you can't really taste the oil that much. <laughs> it's probably water with oil in it. And an era of deselling cannab- uh, uh, cannabis prohibition, cannabis consumption is involving. Recent surveys have shown and an increasing number of women and our seniors are using marijuana-infused products regularly. With an increased demand and an entirely new de- demographic and marijuana industry has responded by expanding the possibilities of dis- uh, discretionary cannabis use. One segment of the rapid changing market cannabis infu- uh, cannabis is infused infused water. Beverages companies are using advanced technology called nano eclapsation eclapsation a process in which uses nanotechnology to shrink the cannabo- cannabinoid to one millionth their original size. That's how it is. I'm reading it word for word. It's so complicated, though. You think that was possible? So you'll fill it within 10 to 15 minutes. And then the THC water shaken, not stirred, while mainly referred to as weed, as a new wine, Mount Joy Sparkling, a sparkling water company, company out of... Sonomono County, California, couldn't agree more. Their THC-infused sparkling beverages contain 12 milligrams of THC, which is said to produce about the same effect as drinking one beer. Alex Monjoy, uh, the company founder of State Interview, Jane Street, and I'll blow. I'm not going to read all that, but that's pretty cool. So they're... Uh, Edible drinks? Yeah. Highly doubt it's equivalent to one. I know you can't really kind of compare no, I mean, high to drunk. I mean, for an edible, like, I have Well, to keep like, in mind, they, they have it up there as the open... Con- they're treating it like the open container law. So they have it as ranked up there with alcohol. Because they do have those... They have the sodas over at... Because it does render your, your, your ability impaired. So... Those are really low, well, though, I think. <laughs> Oh, I have to drink like a fuck ton of them though, like twelve milligrams a bottle. Well, how much? How much is it in a beer? Yeah, What's the milligrams in a beer? There's no milligrams. Our it's percent. Well, what's the percentage percent again? I'm judging by five percent alcohol. Well, isn't the normal percent isn't it like? like no, I mm-hmm. think it's like nine or six, nine or seven. They upped it recently. I don't know, bro. Like the common beer. Like, what's the most popular beer? Like some Bud Light, Cooler's Light. So that's probably what got like my plan. And then you would need way more, bro. Yeah, probably way. to even fill anything because we're such. That's why you can't really compare it to one uh, beer yeah. because twelve milligrams. It depends on it. it depends on each person's intake too. Yeah, exactly. It just. It's just but I guess they mean like just you know in in theoretic or not theoretically uh just in layman's turn it's it's equivalent to one beer. Like if you don't smoke. Yeah, if you don't drink, if you're just a happy go camper, well, you know, like you know, like like some Ned Flanders kind of guy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I just go to sleep with levels. How's everybody feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good too. I'm up for another dab if anyone else is wanting to do one with me. I'll do one with you. Yeah. Travis, you gonna get in on this? I'm good on this one. You sure? Yeah. You get it on, Michael. <laughs> hmm? Are you gonna do one? I'll do one. Peer right. pressure. Everyone's doing one. It's not you, Travis. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. Thank you. I gotta try at least one time. Huh? You want a big dab? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do one right now since I got my segments out of the way do I have right to now. It all, all, all? Yeah, you have to rip it really. I want a little one then. Well, that's fine. 
Um, but yeah, since I'm I'm done, I mean, we're just pretty much killing airtime. <laughs> Do you ever mention. Google how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Does it give you an answer? It does. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it like 27 or some shit like that? Do it. <laughs> Steph, you're the Google lady. Do you're, it. <laughs> you're the Google Meister. The Google Meister. Well, for anybody that's interested, you can always follow me, too, on Twitter at Norman Royal. Um, While I was on my search for the woodchuck could chuck question, I came across a woodchuck could chuck Norris question. What? All right, I shoot it. Read it. All it's right, yeah. It's really ridiculous. Go and I don't know it. what the fuck. Okay. It says Chuck Norris's girlfriend once asked him how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Chuck Norris bellowed, How dare you rhyme in the presence of Chuck Norris? <laughs> he then proceeded to tear her throat out with his hand. Clutching her throat, he yelled, Don't fuck with Chuck! Three years later, he realized the irony of his statement and laughed so hard, everyone within a 100-mile radius went deaf. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous Chuck Norris joke I've ever heard in my life. But that's our show. So I'd like to thank everyone for listening. Uh, and again, uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, look for me on Twitter or Facebook. Um, once again, I have, as always, Stephanie, <laughs> uh, Travis, and Michael. What's up? So thank you again, and you have a good night. That's what you said when he introduced you, too. Was it? <laughs> 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 Just the go-to phrase, I guess. <laughs> it works. It works. Jesus. Oh, Jesus.